Hey there, fellow hunters and history buffs. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of the punt gun, a monstrous shotgun that was once used to hunt ducks. But beware, this weapon's power was so immense that it led to the depletion of wild fowl stocks in the early 20th century. Join me as we explore the rise and fall of the punt gun phenomenon from 1910 to 1920. Back in the day, the punt gun was the ultimate tool for waterfowl hunting. Picture this, a shotgun so massive that it couldn't be held by a single person. Instead, it was mounted directly on small skiff boats called punts. These bad boys were designed to take down not just one or two ducks, but an entire flock resting on the water's surface. Talk about firepower. But let's be clear, my friends. This wasn't your average duck hunting experience. No, no. It was more like aiming an artillery piece at a flock of unsuspecting ducks, firing away, and spending the rest of the day collecting the carcasses. It was a different time, indeed. You see, during the 1800s, there was a booming demand for waterfowl meat in commercial markets. On top of that, fashionable women of the mid-1800s had a major craving for feathers to adorn their hats. To meet the skyrocketing demand, professional hunters took matters into their own hands and crafted these behemoth shotguns with bore diameters of up to two inches. That's some serious firepower. Now, imagine these hunters stealthily maneuvering their punts into position, using poles and oars to avoid startling the ducks. The punt gun, fixed to the punt itself, required the whole boat to be moved just to aim the gun. And when it fired, oh boy, the recoil was so intense that it often propelled the punt backward several inches or more. Talk about a wild ride. But here's where things get even more mind-blowing. These punt hunters weren't lone wolves. They formed groups of eight to ten boats, all lined up and ready to unleash a single, devastating volley. Can you imagine the chaos? Entire flocks of birds were harvested in one fell swoop. It was an efficient, yet controversial, method of hunting. Unfortunately, the punt gun's power came at a cost. By the 1860s, the mass hunting of waterfowl had severely depleted their populations in the United States. State after state began banning the practice, and in 1918, federal laws outlawed market hunting altogether. The Lacey Act of 1900 even prohibited the transport of wild game across state lines. The era of the punt gun was coming to an end. 